guys! So today's video is a what's on my iPhone video. I recently got a new phone, finally, after like two years of having um, an iPhone 5. So I'm gonna take you through my phone. This is the iPhone 6S in rose gold. You can't see the back fully because I have a case on it, but my case is from Poundland. It's like pink glitter, um, but it's see-through so you can still see the back because I love the color of this. I got the 64 gig because I was always running out of memory on my old phone. So I was like, right, it's time to get some more memory. I'm nearing the 5,000 mark on my photos and that is literally just from the last few months um, although I have been traveling a lot so my lock screen at the moment is a pineapple it's a picture I took in Abu Dhabi they basically just scooped out the pineapple blended it and put it back into the pineapple as a drink and I drank that on the beach this is my home screen my background is currently this amazing freak shape from the Hello Kitty cafe in Sydney. So let's start at the top, I guess. Um, we've got the calendar, contacts, camera, and then photos, which is what I was talking about at the beginning of this video. Uh, 4,666. Um, yeah, that's photos. Um, and I've got like loads of different albums. Um, from my holidays and stuff, loads of videos. This is one of my cat, the most recent one. <laughs> Look how cute she is! Then I've got music. I am currently in the process of swapping to Spotify because as much as I like iTunes, I don't want to pay for every single album. I feel like it's better to pay for a subscription. But this is my playlist that I'm currently listening to called Yes Bitch. Then we've got Maps, um, which I love, but it can be a pain in the ass. FaceTime, App Store, Weather, then just like utilities. Then I've got my notes. I always write notes on here. Snapchat. I am obsessed with Snapchat. Oh look, you can see behind me. So add me on Snapchat. My name is Maddie Brucey. I pretty much Snapchat every single day. What's my story at the moment? Oh look, it's a cat. Another cat, another cat. Gym, food, driving, selfie, selfie in uh, trackies. <laughs> and pretty lintas. Anyway, you can go and look through my story yourself. You don't want to sit here and watch me do it. Next is Twitter. And you can follow me on here. My username is the Maddie Bruce. I tweet every single day, just random stuff. Um, and just remind you guys about like my videos going up. I have like product reviews and stuff on here which aren't necessarily um, on my Instagram or on my YouTube. And I also run giveaways. My last one I did last week, it was a Too Faced kind of eyeshadow set. Then we have WhatsApp. I use WhatsApp every day. I've got a family group chat on there and I just talk to my friends who don't have iPhones. And then we come on to Instagram. So yeah, I follow now I think 859 people the number is creeping up and up and up my username is Maddie underscore Bruce I'm having a bit of trouble with my theme at the moment because when I go away my theme is nice and colorful but then you know when I get back to rainy England I want to make it like nice and white and crisp which is what I've been doing with these pictures I get really into my Instagram theme which is so sad but you know we've all done it. Facetune is the best photo editing app ever apart from ViscoCam. Um, you can kind of edit blemishes, you can almost photoshop things out. It's the best three pounds or however much it is I've ever spent. Then we got ViscoCam um, which I use to edit all my photos. Oh look there's a load of selfies there. I usually use the filter A5 at the moment. Next up is Depop which I absolutely love. My username on here is the Maddie Bruce and I just always have things like beauty products and jewellery, shoes and clothes up there. I literally have so much stuff so I'm always putting things on Depop. Then we have Candy Crush. Um, which I'm a little bit obsessed with. I go on this every single night before I go to sleep. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not, but I've just got into the habit of doing it. 
I am currently stuck on level 105, which shows you how obsessed I am with it. I don't know how many levels there are on Candy Crush. <laughs> then I have the followers app, which tells you kind of who's unfollowed you and exactly how many followers you've got. And oh no, I've gone minus 40 followers on Instagram. I don't know what's happening with my Instagram. Like over the past few months, I've just lost followers. I've lost more than I've gained, which is not good. I don't know if it has anything to do with them changing it, so please hit me up on Instagram. Like, I really do appreciate it when you guys comment and like things and, you know, just engage with me. Go leave me a comment saying you've come from this video and I will follow you back on Instagram. Then I have the Camera Connect app, which is for my vlog camera. I can literally just connect it to here. Because my camera has Wi-Fi, I can see all the pictures on my camera and choose which ones I want to save to my phone which is really useful then I have the reward style app which I've put on the home screen because I need to start using it more you might have seen other bloggers using the kind of like to know it links so if you double tap and like a photo you get an email sent to your inbox with all the kind of products or clothes featured um, in that post so yeah I need to do that so you guys can see you know, more easily exactly what's in the photo. And then finally on the home screen, apart from these ones down the bottom, is Headspace. Again, I've put it there to start using. I was recommended this app by friends and also my psychiatrist. He said it was amazing. It's really good for kind of anxiety to help you de-stress. Then down the bottom, I haven't changed my layout. Green, blue, green, blue. Messages, mail, phone, and Safari. Now we are on to the second page and I just have a few you folders. First up, under personal, I just have my Lloyds banking app, which is really useful, um, and eBay. I also have an eBay account, which is Maddie underscore Bruce. I put all the stuff that kind of isn't selling on my Depop on here. Then I have photography, so these are just other kind of editing apps. Live collage, which just makes collages. Um, Afterlight, which is quite a good editing app. Pixomatic and Insta Size is just kind of another collage app. Then I have travel, I've got the tube map because I'm always having to navigate myself to meetings in various spots in London. Uber app and then Jet Smarter, which is something I've seen a load of celebrities promoting. It's basically an app where you can kind of book um, seats and flights on private jets. To be fair, some of them aren't actually that bad compared to, you know, like business and first class flights. Then just a random folder that I put all those, you know, new apps that come with the iPhone 6S in. iMovie, I haven't actually used that on here. I don't know if I'd like it on a phone. Then music, so Spotify, SoundCloud, absolutely love SoundCloud. I love that it goes on to like random songs. I discover so much new music through that. And then Shazam, which is always good when I'm out and about. In a restaurant or in a shop and I hear a song and I'm like, what is that? Then we have puzzles. I've been downloading some more games because I couldn't have anything other than Candy Crush on my old phone due to memory problems, but I've got the Candy Crush soda one because when I run out of lives on Candy Crush and I still want to play it, I just go on to this one. Then I've got um, Word Brain, which is where you kind of have to find the words and go like diagonally or up and down um, in here. So there's like two words here out of these letters that you have to find. Pretty good and you know, I, I like to think that I'm training my brain at the same time. And then just a crossword app because I love my crosswords. Finally, we have the health apps. I am really trying to step up like going to the gym and getting active. So I thought on the days that I can't go to the gym, I can just do the workouts on these apps, like especially the 30 day app challenge. This is really good. Like it's just a free app. You can select your level and then you just do it for a month. There's a seven minute workout app, which is really useful. Um, then six pack, another um, workout app. I just wanted to get kind of suggestions for exercises. Another workout app called S Workout. Then My Fitness Pal, which is a bit of a love hate relationship. You just track kind of all your meals and your exercises and stuff in that. Then Sweat with Kyla. I absolutely love this girl's Instagram. She is incredible. It's got all sorts on there, um, such as nutrition, workouts, and everything. So, yeah, that is my phone. Um, if you have any 
any questions or anything about any of the apps or the phone, just leave them in the comments below. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you found it interesting. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I really love it when you guys thumbs up and comment and stuff, so please carry on doing that. Keep sending me your suggestions for future videos as well. Now I'm back in the swing of things. Also, head over to my vlog channel to watch all of my travel content and I will see you all very soon. Bye!